Jim on Cora asks, have you ever fired an employee that then retaliated against you or the company? What happened? Good question, Jim. The answer is no, but we have had clients that retaliated from us firing them after they didn't pay their bills. And that one for us was really simple to make. In the UK, you can issue something called a statutory demand. It's essentially a note that you send to company's house requesting that the company be made bankrupt if they do not pay any outstanding debts. Not surprisingly, invoices are paid very, very shortly after you send that note to them and some sort of payment plan is usually put in place. But that's not what you ask. So let's go over how we've let three staff members go over the last four years and how it was relatively amicable despite it being quite a gut-wrenching process to actually do the deed itself. Tip one, pay a big severance. If you feel bad about it, just pay the person more. Tip two, help them get another job. Just because they're leaving your organization doesn't mean you just need to ditch them on the side. Tip three, have clear performance management protocols. So if someone is not performing, see it early, tell them and help them try and improve. And lastly, practice radical candor. Be honest and upfront. At the start, it might hurt to say it, but you're only doing them a disservice in the long run if you don't tell them. And if there is a backlash or something bad happens to you, then you need to deal with it by being the bigger person and always take the high road. So that means don't send shitty emails late at night, sleep on all the decisions you're making and always approach things with a fresh mind and a cool head. Now, even if this doesn't feel good in the moment, you're doing yourself and also them a favor. Pretending that everything's okay means you're only gonna build resentment. You're gonna be dancing around each other and that's just bad for both of you. So Jim, all the best with getting this done. It's a horrible thing to have to do, but hopefully with these tips, it should be a relatively straightforward process.